Here in northern Maine, we have basically 10 million acres of continuous bird habitat. It's like nothing else in the country or maybe even the world. What's special about this place is the fact that it's so dark at night for birds that depend on the stars to navigate and that if they get tired, they've got a place to land, lots of safe places to land and, and places to feed. And when they're you know, flying over urban or suburban areas, they don't have so many options. Light and dark cycles are a really important component of birds' annual rhythms and the annual rhythms of kind of every species on the landscape. So birds rely on the phenology of insects and trees to find food in the springtime enough to fuel themselves and enough to feed their chicks. Insects and the trees rely oftentimes on changes of the seasons and if the night and day cycles get confused by artificial light, it can be harder for birds and other animals to find their way or attune their seasonal clocks in the way that they're evolved to. Birds on their own tell us so many things about the environment. They're a great indicator species as far as how the overall health of the forest and the landscape is doing. And we have a lot of long-term data on bird communities. They're easy to see and they're easy to hear. We have comparative data on this study from the project that was done 30 years ago. So we can look at what bird communities were like 30 years ago and how the forests have changed, how climate change, weather patterns have changed, and how light pollution has changed. And all of those things have an impact on the bird community and the broader ecosystem. Not only are we studying the birds and getting to ask some really interesting scientific questions, but it has a lot of real world management applications and with timber companies and organizations like Appalachian Mountain Club uh, and residents of the communities here in northern Maine. The idea that our research might be able to inform some future management practices and keep this area undeveloped makes me really passionate about being on the project.